multitasking as I often do, always trying to maximize my time and do as much as I can uh, with the little time that I have. So I'm on the treadmill trying to get my workout in for the day and um, thinking about passion, which is what I want to talk to you about right now. Uh, most experts will tell you that one of the key ingredients to being a successful entrepreneur is passion. It's not about education. It's not about the amount of money you have. It's really about passion and passion that therefore then drives you to work really hard because you're so excited and pumped up about what you are uh, passionate about in terms of your business endeavor. And so, um, for me, passion means that I go to bed at night excited about the morning coming because I can't wait to get back to focusing on my business endeavor. It means uh, losing track of time in terms of amount of time and putting into my business endeavor because it just doesn't feel like work because I'm so excited, I'm so enthusiastic about what it is that I'm doing. It's about wanting to talk about it <laughs> to whoever will listen. Friends, family, but people you network with, people you meet, people, you know, those things. Um, it's about not being conscious of, uh, this just came up recently, a holiday. I uh, attempted by email to schedule a meeting on a Monday and the recipient said, well, that would be a little difficult because it's this holiday. I thought, oh yeah, right, see, that's typical of an entrepreneur losing total track of like, oh, it's a holiday. It's a holiday for everyone else, but, you know, it doesn't mean that you stop doing what you want to do because you're passionate about it. Um, it's about um, going to sleep at night and feeling really great about what you're doing. And um, I will share with you that from my own experience, passion is also going to be what keeps you going through the difficult times. And there will be times that are challenging, difficult, turn out not the way you thought they would turn out, you know, cause you to rethink your business, maybe cause you to have self-doubt, can I really do this, am I really committed to this, is this really going to work? We all have those thoughts. And there are times too, by the way, that you feel alone. You know, everyone's enthusiastic, everyone at the beginning is like, yeah, 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 great, 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 wish you best of luck. And then they're up there at the end, great, 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 maybe you do it. But there's a lot of time in between when you feel alone. And that passion is going to get you through those challenging times, because we all have them as entrepreneurs. And I want to just mention, while I talked about not being cognizant of when the weekend's coming or when is that vacation coming, I don't want to in any way suggest that you shouldn't make it a priority and you should, to take time for your family, make them a priority, and time for downtime, time to rejuvenate, to create, to rest your mind, to plan, to focus on the future. Those things are really important, in particular, your family. I'm simply talking about what it feels like. I'm not saying that you should not make it a priority to take those vacations and make your family a priority because in the end, if things aren't right with your family, with your children, with your spouse, with your significant others, then it impacts everything else you do. And businesses will come and go, ventures will come and go, but your family will be there to the end. And they're crucial. So, um, just remember, if there's anything I can tell you, or, or I hope that you take away from this, uh, video is understand the, the importance and need for passion, but also understand that it's important to make your family a priority. That's my tip for now. I'll have some other ones in another video.